and you really must tune in. He's ironic, iconic, maybe bionic. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Nerd Genius. He's a genius. Hello, ladies and gents. Michael Burhan from Retro. I'm in NerdGenius.com, and I'm here with Neil Gibson. Neil, you've got a quite popular little book on you. Uh, it's called Twisted Dark. Tell us a little bit about it. How did this start? Uh, it started off because I was really bored. I was uh, working on a project in the Middle East, and I've, I've loved good comics for a long time. And I'll be honest, most comics aren't great, but the good stuff's fantastic. And um, the project I was working on was quite easy, so in the evenings I started writing instead of uh, watching TV, and people really liked what I did, which was a shock, because I was a complete science background, nothing creative. Uh, so I put the first book out, and people really liked it, so now I make comics full-time. So tell me about, basically, how did you manage to get this project together? Uh, did you have to find an artist? Oh yeah, finding the artists at the start was a huge problem. I mean, now it's easy, they come to us, which is, which is great, but at the start, um, I had to fire 14 artists, 14. Because you, you have to learn what you're looking for. You need, when, you, when you work with artists, they have, the first thing is reliability, they have to be deliver on time. The second is they have to, the quality has to be good. Third is they have to listen to you, because some artists will look at the script and go, ah, and change it. Now, if they want to change it, that's fine if they speak to the writer and agree why to change it. But if they just do it on their own, that's not... Yeah, it's not a collaboration. Yeah, because it's not like the film and TV media where it's basically the director gets a certain call and what they're doing, but you also have the producer behind you, and the writer is kind of a cog in the wheel. But in terms of what you're doing, it's very different because you have complete control. You, you, you have complete control, but comics, I have to stress this, is a collaboration because uh, the artists can do things the writer can never conceive of and vice versa. But if they're not communicating together, it's not a real collaboration. And that's the problem. So if the artist wants to change stuff, that's fine, I think, as long as they talk to the writer. But just changing stuff on their own, that's not a collaboration. So talk about the popularity. How did that start? Uh, it's a shock, actually. Um, well, because when you first put the book out, you don't know what people are going to think. And uh, the response was really enthusiastic, which is why we kept on doing it. Otherwise, I may have given up, to be honest. Um, but I remember I, I quit my job in 2012 to make this and then at the start of 2013 I found out at one of these conventions that we were number one in the charts and I had no idea. Um, and since then it's just increasing every convention which is great. How do you get the celebrity feedback? Because I know you've got like a couple of celebrities who actually read this. A lot of it's organic actually. So I was in Chicago and uh, Gail Simone, uh, her, her husband, came along and said that she was a big fan of the series. So I. I uh, gave him some free copies and she tweeted at everyone to everyone to go and buy Twisted Dark, which is great. So it just takes time and you have, the most important thing is quality. As long as your stuff is there, it will eventually find its way through the system. So to any kind of like independent artist, independent writer who's looking at going their foray into comics, it, the, the idea is as long as it's strong enough, as long as you, you know, you love what you do, just keep doing it. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, because you have to be good at what you're doing. Uh, a lot of, most people, especially friends and family, when they read your stuff, they'll say, it's great. And they may be thinking, that's terrible. But they're trying to encourage you and be polite. Now, encouragement is good, but it has to be realistic. So the most important thing is, A, get your stuff done, get it made. If you want to do it, do it. But as soon as you make it, know that it's the first step in the process because you should go out and get honest feedback. Is this any good? How can I make it better? And as long as you keep trying to get better and improving, then you're gonna get better at, at, at what you're doing. And then when you get honest feedback, you know when it's at a standard that you're that is good enough, and then you put it out there to everyone to read. So there you go, guys. Try, keep getting better. Don't give up, of course, as well, but also take criticism. So, uh, Neil... Oh, sorry, can I make one point criticism? Yeah, cool. Uh, feedback is a gift, but it's important to take it for what it is, because some feedback is useless. Like someone goes, oh, that, that's terrible because of this, and the reasons they give is not correct. So listen to all feedback but then choose what you think is art. Ah, I can learn from this, that's good. Or if it's not good feedback, say thank you and ignore it. So um, where can we find you? Like on Twitter, Facebook, or so? Where, if people want to order the book, where can they find you? Uh, we suggest comic book shops because you want to support the community. But if you can't find it in a comic book shop, then Amazon can go for you. Uh, as for Facebook and social media, I suck at it. I'm so bad. Um, but if you go to Facebook and look up T Publications or T Pub, you'll find us. Awesome. So guys, basically make sure that you check out the book as well. I'm going to go actually get myself a few copies. I need to read up on this to see how great it is because I've been getting some amazing feedback from the folks here. This, you know, I had to wait in a line to get the interview because there were so many people interested in this. Uh, and it's great to see independent work going on. So make sure that you pick up your copy. And of course, for Neil, this is Michael Burhan saying that we've got gameplay. Have you? <laughs>